what's up guys back for another video here today and today we're going to be doing the cam johnson rebuild sons rebuild and obviously this will be my last video on 19 i meant not just 2k but on this game because obviously madden's come out uh, i was going to release um face a franchise then i went over the recording of it and it was just terrible. The audio was like, cause I think I left my TV like, or my TV volume on, so you could hear it twice at the same time. So it was kind of not great just to release that video. But if you want me, if you want to see it, then I don't mind restarting. I do not. So if you guys do want to see that on Madden 20, obviously the first video I'll be putting up would be on the 30th when it when I get it three days earlier obviously I get to play the trial and I should have put it a video up because I had the trial but um, that's what I was gonna do with face the franchise but obviously it ended up working out so hey what can I say but you still see it on the 30th on Tuesday so yeah but anyway let's get off of that topic let's get to the Suns rebuild um so to be really honest I don't really know much about this guy right here Obviously, he's from uh, North Carolina. He played with Kobe White, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and he was totally like, you know, took in at 11. And, you know, anyway, but uh, let's get in this rebuild here. So let's get all the way all these bad contracts on this team. Uh, I don't know if Suns have a lot. I'm not sure. A lot of young bucks. Obviously, this is one of them. He's not worth what he's paid for. I'll get a salary dump for him. But. Okay, let's not look at the team again anymore. That I feel like we should get rid of before we keep going. Eh. Uh, I guess I'll move him at power forward. That'd be a terrible idea. I already have a power forward. I'll put him at small. Power, so he goes up. So let's look at the team right now. If we started right now, so Cam Johnson would, or uh, Cameron Johnson would start, and I think I'm gonna end up starting him. I don't think I'm putting him in the G League this time, like I usually do to make their overall better. But I feel like he can uh, become a star. Um, bench looking nice uh, as a start out, you know. So bench looking good. I think what I'll probably do is obviously they did pay Ricky Rubio a lot of money. And I'm not, I'm not feeling the contract. Right? I feel like he, in real, obviously in uh, real life, he might come in, do his job. Let's get John Collins. Obviously, we'll take on a contract, but that's okay. So we'll take on John, and that means we'll probably end up trading this guy. And no, well, first before I trade that guy, let me get Evan Turner off the team. Trade with the Pacers. Thank you. And um. So we'll put him in the trade, and then this guy. Let's see what we get. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pat Beverly. I, I like him as a starting point guard this season. Brings defense to this team that mo most of it doesn't. Um, Heartless or Heartless. I'm obviously gonna trade because it's not really worth it. But yeah, we'll get Livingston off the bench. Um, but uh, I guess he's not gonna play anyway. So. Yeah, this will be a team you can see, like, obviously, more small forwards and power forwards, but some can play power forwards, and some shooting guards can play point guard in that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see. So, yeah, I feel like this team is pretty good. Beverly, Devin Booker, Cam, Cam Rin, Johnson, but everybody calls him Cam. Um, John Collins, Aiden, and then off the bench. He'll be our sixth man, so you know I'm good with that. I'm surprised they're start not starting him over him, but hey, whatever. But yeah, this will be the team. Now see you guys at awards. Giannis is MVP. John Morant's Rookie of the Year. De Dennis Smith is Sixth Man of the Year, and Defense Player of the Year is Giannis. And Buddy Hield's Most Improved by the Kings. Brown, my man over there in the Sixers. And uh, you can see at the bottom right corner, we were bad this year, and I don't think we made a playoff. You know, we didn't make the playoffs at all. But the, um, so let me talk. Uh, and I'm also sorry to the guy, uh, because when I made that Cam Reddish rebuild, like I think a couple 
like three months ago or something like that I don't remember how, how long it was but when I was doing that video I totally spaced out because the guy in the comments that said he wanted to say oh you could pick between Kobe White and Cam <laughs> and Cam Johnson you're probably getting where I'm getting now where I pit I accidentally thought it, he said Cam Reddish so I did a Cam Reddish rebuild instead of a Cam Johnson so and we do at number three and do we have any other picks on us this year? Nope. Cool. So we got number three in the draft. Don't really know what's in this draft. So let's go to the pre pre workouts because I don't really know what I'm working with here. So him number one. Okay, let's hope he slips. Um, I would actually not mind him on the team. But he'd be a bench piece. So I guess a point guard. So Cole Anthony probably. Probably go Cole Anthony. He's predicted to go number three anyway. So. Let's see, and I'll let you guys watch this. So let's see who goes number one to the Knicks. Okay, they take a shooting guard. If that 80 guy slips to me, I'm gonna take him. But if he does it, so okay. He goes to the Knicks. The Hawks, they could need a center, and they're gonna take him. That's a good pickup. That team's gonna be good. I'll say right now. That team's gonna be good, that Hawks squad. And obviously, we're going to take the point guard. I think there's like two we could take here. Yeah, it was a couple, a lot. But I could take Mellow Ball. I could. But I'm going to pass because I'm going to take this man right here. That I have a predicting us. Well, at least these guys do. Yep, some <laughs> have him predicted number one. Okay, man. I'm down. And he's also from North Carolina. So, hey, North Carolina teams teaming up. So yeah, players teaming up. So that's him to the end. And uh, he is a 77. I do not mat, do not mind. So, and he's a 75. Any steel point guards that probably was. So he was a 79. Okay, so we kind of lost on him. Like, what's his, uh, what's his potential? 89? What's my guy's potential? I'd see if I lost by potential too. 86, I did, okay. But I feel like he's gonna be a decent player for this team. Back. Let's so obviously go to bird rights. Uh, let me see, we'll let go. I guess we'll bring back uh, King on a cheap deal. Livingston. Yeah, I'll let him, yeah, I'll let him go. Uh, let him go. Dragon Bender. I for, totally forgot he was on the team. I'm gonna sign him to this contract. I'm gonna sign him a one year one year deal. That is a lot of money for a one year deal for this guy, but I'm gonna sign him. Let's hope he signs. Obviously, we're gonna bring back Kelly. You can't let him go on so on. But let's see if we get Dragon Bender back because I want to trade Dragon Bender. Uh, sure, on a one year deal, why not? We'll match. All right, cool. Uh, and then we're, we should be done here. And do we have any any spare money, maybe? We do not, okay, so we're done here. So, yeah, so we brought him back for the bench. Uh, okay, he went up to an 88, Collins up to an 85, he's up there, he's up to an 80. Cam Resch, up to a 79, five more rolls higher, love it. Become a god. Uh, he's up to a 78, 77, and all these lovely guys are getting higher. You up six, so that's surprising. So yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys at obviously next season. All right, here we are, and I feel like they're gonna start. Are they actually gonna start them? Wow, they actually start them this year. Um, I'm not feeling it. I'm probably gonna start them. Uh, but first and foremost, we're gonna get rid of the man we signed to a one-year deal. I think he has some trade value on him still I can get Steven Adams you know what? I'm doing that let's get Steven Adams on the team for him that's a, that's a hell of a steal Steven Adams um, yeah Steven Adams is gonna come off the bench cuz Aiden's the starter so, so that's uh, that's big money there so Cam 
Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start him. I feel like I'd rather have him at the starting lineup than him, but I will put him higher than him. Give him obviously. Uh, make sure this guy gets some minutes here. So, be to 15. You also. Oh, maybe we're down to 20. Ah, there we go. Let's get some more time there, and I'll spread the love here. All right, there we go. Beverly obviously won't play. Obviously, these guys won't either, but yeah. I like the team how it is. I feel like I'm going to leave it. Obviously, bringing a new guy in here. Really no changes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Russell Westbrook, MVP on the Houston Rockets. That's funny to see. And then, of course, the guy we don't take gets Rookie of the Year. I mean, well, a team that's actually shit, so I guess it makes sense. RJ Barrett, sixth man of the year, obviously, I guess, got the starting job, took it away from him after the year before. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Giannis wing defensive again, and uh, that man right there. At uh, coach of the year, and Nets getting that. But uh, we are obviously better this season. We are a third seed. Can't rush up to an 81, I love it. Um, but yeah. We're a third seed. We're playing Golden State. Who they got? Obviously, this they got D'Lo. Obviously, that crew. Uh, but I feel like they don't got the great as good as bench as we do. I would say they have a decent bench, but us having a starting player center off the bench. Come on, you know. But anyway, let's get this started here. Game one. They obviously have a good team also, so I would not be surprised if we lose this one. There we go, we take game one. Game two, they win by two. Game three, they win by a blowout. Game four, can we tie the series? Let's go, tie the series by five points. Game six, who's taking the lead in the series? They are, they won by two. Some of these are close. Can we force a game seven here? And we can force the game seven. I got to with 20 points. Okay. Game seven. Whoever wins plays the Timberwolves. Okay, it's kind of close, but it doesn't matter because we're going to come up on top. There we go. So now we're playing the Timberwolves. Okay, the team that actually drafted Cam Johnson. Or Cameron, however you want to say it. I actually drafted him, but they obviously did a trade where they had to actually give the pick to the Suns. But, you know. But, yeah. He would have been actually on this team. And this team looks scary because they got uh, Andrew Wiggins off the bench. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> They're already saying this guy's better than Andrew Wiggins. Jesus. Uh, but, anyway, let's go. Got a good defensive team. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Game four, are we going to sweep them? No, we're not. Game five, we get it done. Okay, here we are. Playing the Lakers. I'd rather play the Lakers than the Clippers. Nothing against them, but I'd rather play them. So they're, I feel like we should dominate on the guard side, but... <laughs> Cam, I know this is your second year in the league, man, but you got to guard LeBron, <laughs> okay? Don't let him do anything. But this is a good matchup. I like it. It's going to be a good good series. Here we go. Game one. They win. Game two. <laughs> they win by 36. Game three. Okay, we win. Game four. Can we tie the series? Nope. They're up 3-1 on us. That's just great. Okay, here we go. It's a close game. And we're going to come out and stay alive. Aiden Lee and the team. Can we force a game seven? Whoever wins this series will play the Sixers. Can we force a game seven? by six. Devin Booker keeping us alive. Here we go. 
Whoever wins this game will play the Sixers. We come back from 3-1. Devin Booker dropping 34. Steven off the bench, second score. Here we go. We're playing Ben Simmons and the rest of their God squad here. This is a good team. But we, I feel like we had a better bench than them. But they do obviously have a better starting lineup than we do. Game one, we win. Game two, they win. Game three, they win. Game four, so they're up 3-1 on us. Come on. Hold it together, boys. And we do win by four. Here we go. Can we keep our season alive? It's not looking pretty so far. We won by two. We barely saved ourselves there. I was going to try to jump in, but I didn't want to. Game seven. We come back from a 3-1 lead, back-to-back -back rounds. I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, here we are, Tobias shooting some free throws. And we're at home. What a great way to come out to the end. Usually we're always away, so that kind of is the garbage part. But we are home. Um, let's make sure uh, our boys are out here. Is, um... Oh, he is out here, okay. So obviously we have our point guard we drafted this, but this video is because of this man right here. 12 points. I do not like that jumper. <laughs> that jumper is just too quick for this man. I like how we're keeping the starting lineup out here. Well, they just brought out their bench, so I guess just to crack on some more points. So Ellis, what is he gonna do? Passes the Levinston, the old son last year. Can he shoot? No, oh, I'm surprised they took down his three pointer. Green! On the fader. There we go, foul him. I want the ball. I want the ball to end it. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you guys watch other video uh, videos of mine, you know. Oh, see, that was fouled out. Okay. To me, it doesn't really matter, but because at this point. Okay, Cam Johnson. Or Cameron Johnson is going to take the final shot. But I'll let you guys watch the ceremony. There we go. We won it all. Devin Booker, yeah, he deserves it. He's been on this team the longest. And, wow. What a game. Or what a, what a last two series. Obviously, we're down 3-1 on the Lakers. We come back, win. I didn't have to jump in at all. I like that. And I obviously didn't have to jump in in the finals either in the 3-1. But... Hey, but obviously I jumped in the last one, but yeah. Let's check out the final team here. 
Cam Johnson up to an 81 from a 74 at the beginning. So obviously we didn't get to see him develop much, but if you guys want to, and I feel like uh, I maybe will restart so you guys get to see the face of the franchise. So for you guys, um, because I kind of messed it up. But obviously if I do that, it will probably be this weekend because obviously I'm going to release some rebuilds for you guys on Tuesday all the way till I'd say Friday. And then that week, this weekend, I will release Face of the Franchise for you guys. Obviously, if you guys already watched it, that's cool. I would say go check out the creators that have already released it. Go check them out. Or if you rather wait for me, then that's all cool. Or if you're just here to see my opinion on it. Obviously, it'll be a second opinion. But that will still be okay. I'll try my best to react the same way I did the first time. But, you know. Uh, and it's pretty good because I, I wanted to hear it the first time. But, you know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.